Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, I am not a big fan of the Star Spangled Banner. Matter of fact, when the Olympics come around, I always find it irritating that even our enemies have better national anthems than we do. Francis Scott P. Key was not a poet. He was, he was an amateur poet, but he was actually a lawyer. And uh, he wrote the poem about after witnessing the bombardment of Fort McHenry by British ships. Now, like I said, he was a lawyer. He was on a British ship uh, trying to negotiate the release of a friend of his who had been taken prisoner by the British. Uh, so he saw the battle from this ship, which was not part of the battle. They were kind of way in the back. So all he saw was uh, smoke and flashing lights, and it was nighttime. And so he didn't get a really good view of the battle. And uh, let's face it, Key was not a um, significant poet. None of, and, none of, and nothing else that he wrote is remembered today. The poem actually has four stanzas. Fortunately, we only used the first one in the anthem, or it would just drone on forever. The melody was composed by, well, thought to be composed by a fellow by the name of John Stafford Smith for the Anacreontic Society, which was a men's social club in Great Britain. So the song originally called To Anacreon in Heaven is about a Greek poet, Anacreon, whose poems were dedicated to wine, women, and song. And the song was popular in both Great Britain and the U.S., but like a lot of pop songs, it's, it's pretty bad. Have you ever noticed that the band never marches to the Star Spangled Banner? That's because it can't. There's no rhythm. It is slow and plodding and impossible to march to. So they just stand there. And the melody is boring and at the same time really hard to sing. If the song were written today, it would never get past the A&R people at the music companies and no band would even consider recording it. In fact, it was meant to be sung by drunk guys in bars who didn't care what the hell they sounded like. Now, even though I'm an atheist, I think that the national anthem should be God Bless America. It's a, a much better uh, song, and it's actually about the country. The Star Spangled Banner is a mediocre poem describing a battle that the author really didn't see very well and says nothing about our country's ideals. And this mediocre poem is set to a melody that wasn't even composed by an American that is actually a British drinking song. So when you sing the Star Spangled Banner, you're a step away from karaoke. Thanks for listening.